So Lord Lego's just asked me to pop up and give you a little bit of reassurance on what September's going to be like in schools. My name's Kit, I'm sometimes known as Sir Gorilla and pop over to my channel Gorilla Physics because there we're all about getting you there A star or the grade 9 in your GCSE and A level physics but we also do lots of study tip videos just like this one. The answer is it's going to be as close as possible to normal. You will hear certain words, you'll hear probably bubbles or pods and you will have things like staggered break times and start times. There'll be plenty more times where you'll be encouraged to wash your hands and you'll be limited from interacting with certain people. So for example if you're in year 10 you'll perhaps be only limited to really being with other year 10s during the day. Schools will do this differently but most of the time you'll hear something like a bubble or a pod which essentially just means you'll be with a smaller group of students for most of the school day. What it also means is probably your teachers are going to move around more than you will. But don't worry, we're all up for this and your teachers have definitely got your back. So my advice there is just to wait and see how your school says to handle that because all schools will be doing that slightly differently. But we will be managing it so that it's as safe as possible for everyone. And frankly, your teachers and your school leaders, they're all raring to go and they are looking forward to welcoming you back. So feel really positive when you go in at the start of September. One thing to stress is that you will still be doing your full curriculum. So even though you'll be in smaller groups, if you have to move into a different group for let's say dance or let's say geography or physics, triple science, then you will be able to go into those different groups. We will not be limiting anyone's curriculum in any way. We're still expected as schools to teach a broad and balanced curriculum, which is what Ofsted tell us to do. And the other thing that hasn't changed at all is that hard work and commitment will still be the things that will pay off for you as a student. And if you're here watching videos on Lewis's channel, or if you want to come over to my channel at Guerrilla Physics, you will be that type of student. Those are the ingredients to make a success at GCSE and A-Level. Commitment and hard work are still going to pay off. This year especially though it's a great idea to be using things like checklists and for GCSE and A level physics you can find full checklists on Lewis's channel. It's one of the most important things in any school year to know what you do and don't know across the entire specification. But this year especially because you've had that long period of time off school it's really important that you do check in with what you do and don't know and you work in order from your highest priority to your lowest so the bits you know least to the bits that you know best. Your teachers have got your back and also us teachers here on YouTube have got your back as well. There's plenty of offerings here. There's even more than ever before because so many teachers started making YouTube channels during this lockdown period. So there's so many different resources out there that you should just get on and focus on actually enjoying the learning. Don't worry too much about the end game, but just make sure that you are ticking off those parts of the specification bit by bit, using a checklist, doing some really focused study on the bits that matter most to you. So come on over to Gorilla Physics, my name's Kit and I've got plenty more videos like this one with general study tips and also some really focused GCSE and A-level physics aiming to get you the very highest grades. Thanks a lot to Lewis for having me on this channel. GCSE and A-level physics online is the greatest resource that there is on YouTube for studying physics. I know this isn't going to be easy, but if you've got any more questions at all, then pop them down in the comments section and we'll be there to answer them. Hit that like button and come over to Gorilla Physics to subscribe as well.